Oh yeah, the uh, as the rain let up, uh, the police and I both realized that I could use this to protect some of the books that I f picked up from the free book stack. Um, you know what, maybe I'll discuss those in a postscript, the books themselves, which would have been the focal point of my morning if, uh, you know, the authoritarian gun-toning state had not been involved in it by some bureaucrat. The kind of people, by the way, that the university keeps hiring instead of educators. You know, the uh, student-teacher ratio hasn't really gotten better in a long time. And they've hired more and more people, so who are they hiring? Well, people that don't really have to deal with the students directly, especially if they don't look right. And, uh, you know, it's... Um, well, yeah, like I said to that cop, it's a classist institution. And actually, in one way it makes me much less inclined to re-enroll, in another way it makes me more inclined because, uh, you know, I may send this to uh, UTSU. I have a contact there who interviewed me before for the election. I'm a former student union president myself. I know a bit of the campus political system. I might want to look into this as a deeper issue because I encounter this as a student president in CASA too. The um, sort of illusion of continuity with public space that's given to undergraduates when in fact it's a very gated institution in one way, right? It's not as though students can't leave campus, but I always observed when I was like 19 how there were no homeless people on campus. And campus police is a separate police force, so I always knew something was up. Uh, the panhandlers were all at the periphery, Blur Street, you know, maybe on Spadina's and all the foot traffic, they were down in college. Right by Cam H, and uh, eh, you know, like the, <laughs> in a sense, more charitable interpretation is that they don't, uh, uh, students don't have a lot to give to panhandlers, and that's why their panhandlers are not there. But I always thought it was not. It was more like the um, Enlightenment institution was a little behind on its moral enlightenment. They didn't the. <laughs> the abstract system of U of T didn't read all the books in its own curriculum, you know? So it's not as though every moral principle in like an extant text is understood by the institution. So, uh, yeah, I have to, I have to confront this guy in moral terms same day so that he, you know, it's, it lands more if people get feedback immediately. If they come back in a month and say, hey, remember that time you were a jerk? He's like, whoa. So I'm going to have to go there now puts a little dent in my morning because uh, I had some postering to get to and whatnot. And, uh, I'm going to say I'm literally the only person on the planet who can teach this guy this lesson because every single other person that he would phone the police on either would, um, you know, not know how to uh, advocate for themselves or not have the money to get someone else to and uh, or be too time poor as most of us are do most of the things we want to do, but I do want to, uh, I do want to stand up for the idea that any member of the public should be able to walk in the Edward Johnson building and read every poster and uh, decide which concerts they want to attend. I'll see you at the next show.